I want to give you one other piece. I want to share with you how to work on your mental toughness off the court. For some of you, this is going to be the most valuable thing you're going to hear from me all night. So listen closely, keep your eyes locked in. I'm going to give you five ways to practice your mental toughness. If you practice these five things every day, you'll develop greater self discipline. You'll become unstoppable in anything you do. And it's five things that you're going to have to rise above your feelings in order to do every day. That's how you build your mental toughness. You develop as a habit a muscle of rising above your feelings to the level of your aspirations, to the level of your commitments. So here's the first one you wake up early and you get out of bed. You don't hit the snooze. You don't say 10 more minutes, 10 more minutes. That's called giving in to your feelings. If you give in to your feelings, you'll never be special at anything. You can acknowledge your feelings, I'm feeling tired, and then you rise above it and you get out of bed. You wake up early. That's number one. Number two, this might seem simple, it might seem insignificant. You make your bed as a habit. As a discipline. Why? Because it's the last thing you feel like doing when you get out of bed. You make your bed as a habit. You practice doing it with precision, making it neat, putting your pillow just right. When you do that, not only are you starting the, win, starting the day with a win, you already got a win, you already got something accomplished. But in addition, you're setting your mind to be a person who's organized, a person who's disciplined, a person who's precise. You're setting yourself up. For success in everything you do with that simple act of making your bed. Number one, you get up early, you don't hit the snooze, you rise above your feelings. Number two, you make your bed. Number three, you work out, you get to work. If you're doing things later on in the day, getting to work might be as simple as jumping next to your bed and bumping out, pumping out 30, 40, 50 push ups. You do something that you don't feel like doing because your body's feeling tired. You're not even awake. You just get in the habit of doing work. If you have access to a gym like this one, then get into the gym and do work. If you can't get to a gym, do it right beside your bed. Roll out of bed and do something. It could be sit ups, it could be something that gets your body moving as a discipline. Why? Because you won't feel like it. Those are three. Ready for the last two? Give me a head nod if you're ready for the last two. Here's the last two. Your school day gets done, study first as a discipline. Why? Because you won't feel like it. And if you want to build mental toughness on the court, you do things that are difficult until they become easy. Everything's hard until it becomes easy. But once you develop and you make it a habit, it'll become easy and you'll learn to rise above your feelings. So you do work first, even if it's just 20 minutes. If, you if you're coming to the gym and you can't do that first, then once you're done the gym, Before you go do anything else, do work first. Not only will it prepare you for success because you'll get more schoolwork done, but secondly, you'll train yourself to rise above your feelings. You do what you don't feel like doing. And then the fifth and final one, this is going to sound like a strange one, but you do this and it'll just increase your mental toughness. Eat something you don't like regularly. For some of you, it might be some vegetables. For others of you, it might be a fruit. There was mushroom. I never liked mushrooms. And then I realized wait a minute, I'm not going to let mushrooms get the better of me. I'm not going to only have mental toughness up to the point of mushrooms. No, I'm going to conquer that too. And when you, when you decide that you can do anything, you might not feel like a morning person, you become a morning person just because you thought you weren't a morning person. I didn't like mushrooms. I said, I'm going to figure out a way to start to enjoy mushrooms. I started sneaking in into some pizza and some other things until finally I hit a day a couple years ago where I could eat mushrooms alone. And then something strange happened along the way. My taste buds changed and I started to like mushrooms. But what happened was I didn't do it because I liked it, I did it because I didn't like it. And I was developing mental toughness to be unstoppable, to make it so that there was nothing that could rise above. My aspirations, not even my feelings, not even my taste buds. Five things again. Let's recap. You wake up early and you don't hit the snooze. You train yourself to get out of bed. Number two, you make your bed as a habit, as a discipline. Number three, you work out. You get to work, even if it's short, even if it's 20 push ups. Do work. Number four, 
Study first. Work on that essay or that project you got to complete. Number five, train yourself to eat something you don't like. Preferably something that's going to be good for your body and nutritious like fruits and vegetables, which probably most of you don't get enough of and would benefit from more of. You do those five things consistently, you'll build your self-discipline, you'll build your ability to rise above your feelings, and you'll develop unstoppable mental toughness so that when you do step on the court and things aren't going your way, rising above your feelings will be easy. Now you're strong enough.